If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and comment your feedback. So first of all, I am going to create a new React.js project using create react app. So npx create react app and I am giving the name of the app as movie app. Okay, so now a new React.js project will be created. So we have to wait for that. Okay, so new React.js project has been created. So I'm going to remove all the boilerplate code or unwanted files. So like logos and app.test.js. Okay, so next I'm going to remove this portion in index.js. And I'm going to change the app.js as like this way. Okay, so next I'm going to run the project. So here is the project. Okay, so next I am going to take the TMDB website. So here I am going to click the first link. Then we will be redirected to the home page of the TMDB website. We have to uh, take an account. So I have already created an account here. So after creating an account, I am going to the settings options in this drop, drop down. I am clicking that button. Then we will be redirected to this section. Here you can see that in the sidebar there is an APA. So I am clicking on that APA. Then here there is an API key. So we need this API key for uh, adding it to the URL. So next I am going to click on this more button. At that time you can see that here is a drop down which contains API. So I am going to click on this API. Okay. Here, next, I'm going to click on the API reference. Then you can see that there are different options in the sidebar of this API reference. From there, you can see that there is a discover section. So from this discover section, section I'm going to click on this movie. And you can see that here, there is an URL. So I'm going to copy the URL up to movie and question mark so I, I have copied that then next i'm going to use this url in our project so here i'm going to create another component in this components folder so i'm giving the name of the component as movie so you can see that this is a component So here in this component, I'm going to define a function that is get movie. And I'm using fetch. And I'm inserting the URL as like this way. And next I'm going to give the API key. That is the API key. We, we have here so i am going i have copied this i am going to copy this api key and i am going to paste it there okay so now i am going to use the response so we will get the response and i am going to convert that response into json format then i am going to console that JSON formatted response. Okay, so so I'm going to call this function inside the use effect hook. So as like this way. That is get movie. So now you can see that uh, we have uh, defined a function which, can, uh, which in which we have uh, used the uh, this URL with the, our API key. 
then I'm going to call this movie component in this app.js. So movie as like this way. So now you can see that uh, I'm going to the browser and here I'm taking the console. Here you can see that uh, we have used the movie component or called the movie component in the app.js. Okay, so this is our result. So you can see that here it contains an array that is uh, results. So I'm going to put as JSON dot results. So we will get the exact array. So this is the array. So it contains 20 details of 20 movies. So for example, you can see that the uh, name of the movie and overview of that movie and uh, other different uh, informations like uh, uh, language and poster okay and release date okay so we are going to use these details so first of all i am going to uh, uh, pass that into an array so for that i am going to create or define a state and giving the name of the state as movie list that is set to movie list so here set movie list so now i am going to log this this movie list there so console.log movie list okay so you can see that in the console this is the movie list so next i am going to uh, use that movie list state and i am going to map through that movie list as like this way so here i am going to use the image tag So you can see that here in the list of movies, the poster path is only an endpoint. So there is no full uh, URL. So we have to give the basic image URL and at the end point we can give this poster path. So for that, I am going to uh, click on this guides in the nav bar of the TMDB. Here you can see that in the uh, sidebar of these guys there is an image section so here is a uh, basics so i'm going to click on this basics and here here you can see that uh, this is a basic you it contains a basic url so i'm going to uh, copy uh, up to here and i'm going to use that in this source attribute so i'm giving a back tick and i'm going to paste that and I'm going to use that by movie dot poster path. Okay, so now you can see that. Okay, so uh, this is the posters of each movies. So I'm going to reduce us the size. Style width uh, to 300 px height to 250 px okay so you can see that here this is a poster so next i'm going to give the margin left and top that's like this way Okay, so you can see that now uh, it is, uh, yeah, it is uh, ordered as like this way. Yeah, it is much better. That is margin top. So we have uh, used the TMDB and listed the 
poster or lister the movies so i think this very useful if this video is useful to you please consider subscribing to your channel like the video and comment your feedback thank you